Hi guys, Rachel Bob here and today something a little bit different for what at Wednesday I'm doing a best iPad apps for 2013 and this was requested by Sean of Birth. So let's get straight into it. Some of these are things that differ very much from my best iPhone apps 2013 because I use the iPad for a completely different purpose. So whereas some of them from the iPhone one may be very good, I am not going to include them because I don't think they're as good on the iPad. The first one I'm going to choose is this TV catch up. This is for us here in the UK, I'm not sure if you can get it in a different country, please feel free to try. And this basically has all the Freeview channels I believe and it's certainly got more Freeview channels than we have and you just select what you want to watch. And it opens it up. It does play a little advert yes, beforehand. Right. There is nothing wrong with being tight. You can just skip that after a few seconds and then it will open up. It's good. It's really good. Does not affect the test at all. The light tester. It's really good and I find it more reliable than ITV player. I find that crashy and all the other players so TV, TV catch up is really good um, of the, obviously the one thing you can't use it to do is to actually catch up it is live TV okay the next one I've chosen on the same theme of watching things is Netflix obviously these the last app was free this app is free as well most of them that I'm talking about today are, are free but this one you will need a subscription to Netflix which isn't expensive um, we have it, I think it's £6 a month and we absolutely love it, especially for TV box sets. This is great when you're in the bath, when you're, I don't know, this is Ryan's iPad by the way, so even though I selected myself it still says that I'm Ryan, which is really annoying, um, but yeah, you can watch anything you want, you just open it up, you open it up and you watch whatever it is you want to watch. It's pretty awesome. Okay, the next app. This is the only one on my list that isn't free. And it's called Monopoly. This is a paid app, $6.99. And um, please check how much it is before you buy it because it will differ and vary. But me and Ryan play this on journeys, on the train, on a night. We absolutely love it. You can turn the music off. Um, so resume the game here. And you basically roll the dice. You roll the dice. There you go. It's really fun. Okay, the next one on my list is free and it's called Repix. This is a photo app and it has filters and effects. The main reason I really like it is for these really cool pens down here. So these are the ones you buy there are things to buy, but you do get some. Some that you don't have to buy. And they're really cool effects. I mean, look at that. That's awesome. It's already a work of art. So you can totally destroy this fox's face. Drag it along. And there's all sorts of different things. And you can erase what you've done. Erase that, yeah. Oh, you can undo what you just did. Then there's just so much extra stuff like and and things you can add, you can try them. It's so clear and lovely. I really like this app. Okay the next one on my list is Candy Crush. This is something that I actually particularly I actually normally play on my iPhone 
or on Facebook. However, however, I do find that on the iPad, on the iPad, it is so much bigger. I'm just going to show you on the first level because this isn't logged in because this is on Ryan's account. I think I'm on level 168 now. As you can see, this, the display of it is so much bigger on the iPad that it kind of gives you another feel for the game. It's about the same size it would be on your monitor. Oh, and also it syncs up with your Facebook. So if you have got so far, you can carry on on your iPad. The next one is iBooks. I've chosen this because I like using iBooks. This is again Ryan's account. So they're all boy things, but anyway, let's just open one up. So I think this is really good because you can read things and it's on a bigger screen and it's it's just nicer. And especially you know nighttime reading or you're on the train. If you have an iPad it's gonna save your iPhone battery because you're using this. And again it's free. The next thing is eBay and this is also because you can look in the items in a lot more detail so you can see things like so much clearer that it's just that when you actually look at things everything is just so much bigger and more in detail than you can see on your iPhone Oh, that looks fun, let's purchase. The next of the best is IMDB. I love IMDB, it settled a lot of arguments about films and who's in them. But also on the iPad, it's just displayed so nicely. You can watch your trailers, you can go in the forums, you can see everything laid out perfectly, it's there, you don't have to open the website, it's easy to search. It gives suggestions, it also tells you your local cinema times. It's just put together really well and displays super nicely on the iPad. And my final app of the best iPad app for 2013 is TED. Nothing to do with the giant bear that swears a lot. No, this is TED and these are like inspirational videos on various subjects. There's so many. And yes, you could have the YouTube app and go and search for things and but this is and you could have Netflix and have the TED section on there. But this gives you all the TED videos in one place and it's just an inspirational app where you can go through, search for things, you can look at things, look for things that are relevant for you, you can click inspire me and you can, if you want to see something inspiring, tell them how much time do you have, okay well we've got, got five minutes so and then it's given, given you an inspirational thing there. You can also look at all talks and it tells you all the talks, all the different subjects. So this is cool for people who are in a particular field, maybe you're at school and you want to learn something particular, maybe you're going through something in your life and you want to know how to deal with it, maybe you just want to feel happy or research something that you don't know about anything it's all in here and all TED talks are awesome you can save them you can watch them later and you can search through them as well I really love TED so that's my top 10 iPad apps of 2013 one page the rest free let me know your thoughts do you think I should have included any that you didn't see 
or do you agree with my choices? Are there any that you're going to check out now you've seen them? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, share with your friends and enemies, subscribe if you haven't already. All the links to the apps are in the description so please feel free to click on those and check them out and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!